Hey everybody! I mean, that was loud to come back to. Uh, fully back for some more Resident Evil. We're currently working our way through the Resident Evil series. We have gotten up to Resident Evil uh, Remake. Came out in 2002 on the GameCube. We are playing it on uh, the PS5, so this is the HD remaster of that. And we are playing as Chris. We're about... I'm gonna say halfway, but I don't think we are. I think we're a little bit uh, less than halfway through the game. Is getting audio. Yes. Game's just quiet. Microphone is on. Okay. Yeah, the game is just, just silent. Anyway, so last stream, we bumbled about the mansion. I say we. I bumbled about the, the Spencer estate. Uh, for quite a while. Uh, I have played this game before, but I've only played it as Jill. Uh, I've never played it as Chris. And I've only watched uh, other Let's Plays and some speedruns of uh, both Chris and Jill. Um, but I don't know Chris's route that well. I know Jill's route pretty well because I've played it a couple of times. Um, but I don't know Chris's. So, yeah, we were kind of bumbling about there. Um... And I went back to check if I had missed anything or, you know, the item route was a bit strange, like what am I supposed to do next kind of thing, and we're actually fine. You know, I was worried that I would have to kind of redo a bunch of stuff off stream. But we're, and like, I still might, just because we could be in better situation item-wise, but we're kind of fine for like the main, the main story and the main uh, items and yeah, so I'm not actually going to load our last save. I did do something that I shouldn't have done. Or not that I shouldn't have done, but I'm going to have to undo it if I do that. So I'm just going to see where this save is. So this should be just after we beat um, Elder Crimson Head. We can't kill you, but the PS4 loading menu might. Alright, let me shrink before I forget. Alright, we're back. Now, what do I have in my pocket? Okay... Question is, if the stone and metal object in the box, or have I already put it away? Ah, shit, I've already put it in the thing. Okay. So we need the stone and metal object to... I'll try, I'll try save five instead. We need the stone and metal object to... Um... Words. Come on, words. Something. To get to the garden, we need the stone and metal object. Uh, and I have put it in uh, the last place where you do put it. You have to actually put it in another location in the mansion to access the last section of the game. Uh, so I've jumped the gun, basically. I've put it somewhere that, uh, yes, you'll need it there eventually, but not right now. The darkness lies my fears. My fear is, I don't know where this location is. I'm back in the same room, but that doesn't really help us. All right, we still have, we still have the armor key, so this is very early still, okay. Let's see where save seven is. Might just go with save six, because I think save six is before the Elder Crimson Head fight. They're all in the same location because I keep going back to the same save room because I don't want to go into dog hallway or zombie hallway. That's probably Crimson Head hallway at this point. No thanks. That's just death. I'm back here later when the zombies have all despawned and it's just hunters. Alright, we're back here. I have the shoddy now. What's in the box? Stain sprays, the knife, old key, the wind crest. Okay. 
You know what? There's an old key in the chest, which I didn't realize. So we could just use that. I want the shotgun shells. Uh, do I need the pistol anymore, or will I just get rid of it? I'd like to have it around, but it is taking up two inventory slots, so we could probably do without it. Just see how bad it gets without it. Okay, we're gonna take the wind crest. Alright, so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna head out. I'm gonna have to go retrieve the stone and metal object. So gonna take the shortcut. Now the door, this door might break when we do this, which could be an issue. Uh, it is in fact broken. That's not a problem. Is there a way for me to go back? Okay, yeah, there is no real way for me to get where I want to go without going through death. So that's going to be fun. Can't wait to do that. That's way we go. Oh, upstairs. The reason I'm considering restarting is just one, that door being broken now is actually kind of bad because it means we're going to have to take a very circuitous route around the place. It isn't ideal. Uh, but it also means I'm pretty much forced into dog hallway now. Which I would have rather avoided. Take this back. Doesn't need to be there just yet. It will have to. Eventually, just not right now. Okay. I have to take Dog Hallway because the two wings of the mansion don't meet up anywhere. Rather, where we are is where, is where they meet up, I guess. That's, that's the correct way to say that. Alright, dogs. Just try to serpentine and see how it goes. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Alright, we're good. Alright, the dogs, yeah, they're a problem if they get going, but it seems to take a while to wake up. This hallway could be a problem. Because there are a bunch of potential crimson heads in here. Remember what button is what. Out. <laughs> uh, that's a crimson head. So he might follow us, which we don't want to happen. She did. That's a problem. He might follow us in here too, which will also be a problem. But I don't think they follow you into puzzle rooms. Okay, now that's unlocked, so we don't have to take a big circular route to move around anymore. I 
kinda. You can see that door has become one way now, where the typewriter and the item box is. Okay, so we want to... We want to get to the guard. I don't have any knives left. Grenade is a real waste here, but I think I'm going to end up using it. I'd rather kept the grenades for the hunters that are going to be here soon. Get grenaded. Enjoy your grenade. And also the issue with grenades is they do damage to you, as we've now noticed. They do a lot of damage to you, as we've now noticed. It's fine. There's a first aid spray in the next room. Filer of the Accursed Coffin. Zelda Crimson Head. Oh, that was close. not getting an S rank now. Okay, so we want to go... We do actually want to take this door. seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. North, Valley of Destruction. South, the Cave of Hatred. East, the Summit of Madness. West, the Path of Revenge. Yes. There's a switch here. That's wrong. It was right. I'm trying to get to land on west. right either. Tell me anything.
Okay. I guess I just need to get the two dogs not to look at it. Is that all it was? Carved into the indentation. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? Something written in the indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine. The heavens. <laughs> something. Get off. Rests are fitted. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take them. All three. Thank you. There's a button. Will you press it? You will. Okay, so that has two lines. That has a cross. Three lines. place neatly inside. It somehow hasn't rusted to shit. Alright, now we have the Magnum. Silver Serpent 357. That's some kind of coat of arms or something on the handle. Alright, but also the crows are really mad at us now. Or was it just that one crow was really mad at me? It was just that one crow that was really pissed up. How dare you invade my space. That noise. outside, huh? Hmm. That's all the items here. Okay, so we are about to encounter Lisa Trevor, who is a new character for the game. Um, she was not in the original game. Lisa is the daughter of the architect of the mansion. Her and her mother were experimented on while the father was busy building the mansion. He didn't learn about it until well after. Um, he thought they were dead. Lisa is technically alive. Big, the big grim. Anyway, she lives here. I forget why exactly we need, we need to come here. There are items in here somewhere. A 
This map of the courtyard. Take it. Alright, so, I mean, that all by itself is quite useful. It gives us a map of uh, the gardens. Map of the courtyard. Typewriter. Item box? Item box? Ah, uh, okay, we need it this. these and make a, a full heal out of them. Enough. We're gonna take the crank because we will actually need it in the garden. We haven't really done much. As long as I was debating whether or not to save here. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, that hurt. Hey, hey Lisa, lo love what you've done with the place. equipped it just in case she got a hit off. Uh, and there was a good chance she could have. That was fairly risky. Lisa hits pretty hard. I'm going backwards. Lisa hits pretty hard. There's just two ways to get here, okay. That's the other way we came in. <laughs> I really turned around here, okay. How the fuck do I get out of here then? Alright, this way. back there at some point we'll be coming from a different direction um but we won't have to deal with lisa for a little bit anymore okay so now we're heading out to the gardens and kind of something i've noticed the compass doesn't point north um it actually changes and i think it changes based on where you need to go next 
where the next key item is. I think that's what it's doing. So the next thing we're looking for now is the helmet key. And we need the helmet key to access the last couple of rooms in the mansion. The helmet key isn't in the mansion, it's out in the gatehouse. Which is the room at the top left, so that's where we're headed now. This is Brad. Come in, Star's Alpha team. Come in! Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. Oh, Brad. You fucking left us for dead, you Star's asshole. Alpha team. Bravo team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad! This is Chris! Brad! Damn! Thing's broken. Yeah, thanks, Richard. Hey, it's that dog. Okay, so the reason we needed the crank is to lower the water level here. Nothing unusual. Does he not have to tell me it's a square crank? No? I wonder, is that only for the original game? They, re they really didn't upscale these uh, CG scenes at all, did they? You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. So that has changed the direction of the flow of water. If you look on the map now, the kind of T-shaped area in the bottom left is now has a waterfall running through it and would actually obscure our path to the catacombs. So we will have to come back here and reset the water before we head for the catacombs. Now it's time for the Snake Town. That? Maybe Snake Town is on the way back. Alright, we're in the T-shaped corridor. Uh, there's a set of blue herbs here, just in case the snakes get you. Game doesn't screw you over too much. See, you can see the waterfall is preventing us from going past it. But there's also no way to get here without putting the waterfall in that position, so... Kind of stuck. Now in the original game, there are dogs in this pathway. It's snakes. When it's snakes, just run. Just, just run. You might get bit, you might not. Blue herbs again, just in case you get tapped by the snake. I think this is a save room. And it is. Crank. Can't do anything with it right now. I have another green herb somewhere. Take that out. Mix it. Okay, 
gonna put the magnum away because we won't need it again until plant 42. The big heal away because we don't need that. Ink ribbon out because we're gonna save. And that's it. Typewriter, you can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon? Sure. Do I have any space? Yes. Okay, because there's other items in this room, so you might as well grab them. That it? Yes. Plate reads zero zero one. Grab one of these blue herbs because we can mix it. Okay. So now we have a full heal and an antidote all in the one item. Okay, um, arachnophobia warning. This room has that in it, so been warned. Let you know when you can look again. There's other items in here, I don't have time to look for them. Gotta get out of here before Spidery comes after us. I appreciate the audio of that room, probably didn't help either. Alright, you can look again. this over the hole in the floor. I may have pushed it over the wrong hole in the floor. Yes, I think I did. Reset that. Mix of green and blue herb was its size. A red book. It's a book with a red cover. Got a weird picture on it. The red cover, but nothing's printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Yes, there is. We don't actually care about the book all that much, we care about the picture on its spine. Right, uh, let me just put away those yellow her or the yellow? <laughs> Blue and green herbs. Um, actually, no, we'll keep those. If I do get poisoned, I don't want to have to use the big heal on it. I don't know if I need the book just yet. Might just leave it here for now. Ah, oh, 
that doesn't reset. That sucks. Oh, never mind. It was the correct one. Maybe that's why it didn't reset, because I did it right. Um. Doesn't seem to be anything useful. Creepy things in it. Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Mrs. House? Jet's locked. The door plate reads the gallery. Got room two. And then we got something here. We're not going to grab this just yet. Um, it is the map, and that would be useful. But if we grab it now, we'll have to deal with bees. And while bees don't do a ton of damage, um, they do poison you. Water just from the sink. Perhaps the valve is broken. Fuck. Water is leaking from the tank. Take the residence key. Key. There's nothing unusual. Yes, there is. 001 is imprinted. Okay. Know where that room is. It's back at the start. That all that's in here? Yes. Okay, was the door noise meaning a zombie is showing up? Is you dying? Dying again. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutri nutrients. One source is through its roots. Somehow, it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. Old black body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling on the first floor. You're sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the floor. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Fortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves that way, it, why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. Well, Henry, I kind of wish you had investigated that a bit further. That would have been useful. But the information about it twining old, new bleh, old newspapers and magazines lie on top of the bed. Kind of magazines. Someone appears to have vomited blood on some. Uh, uh, it uh, entwining around the door uh, with tentacles is important because it's why we can't access Plant 42 straight away. Okay. Up. 
that. Could head back to room one. Just use the key. Give ourselves some space. Nope, we only have two slots. thinking. Oh, let's just keep going. I do like that they kept this music. A lot of the other ones, they sort of like redone them and remixed them and they sound a little bit different now. This one sounds more or less exactly how I remember it. There's a bit of a haunting bit to the back of it. Sort of just hanging out in the background that wasn't in the original. But for the most part, it still sounds the same. Nope. Okay. I wanted to see which side the railing was on. this one all the way down. Richard! Chris! <laughs> you good? Chris, stop! No! Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. Richard. Chris, we should probably get moving. Come down here too early. In fact, I came down here too early.
have the zero zero one key. Use mass. Power room. Forgot that door was locked. Power room must. Uh, power room key must be in there. I better not waste these just in case. Lock the door. Self-defense gun. Suicide note. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to just survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things were pure evil. There's no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. This is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand, at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. No. In case. somebody in the bathroom. What he's saying? Something inside the bathtub. Take the control room key, anyways. Yep, should have trusted my instincts and gone back and used the key. There's nothing unusual. It's key for entering the control room. Anything else in here? because we got out of the room f before he was fully active that we won't have to deal with him. Right, is that everything in here? Take another heal with us in case the sharks get another nibble. Although really I should just use the shotgun on them because we're gonna swap the shotgun out soon. So I was com not complaining, but I was worried that I had missed the um I was worried that I had missed the assault shotgun, because I thought you got it from Richard during the fight with Jan, um, to actually get it... That's as Jill you get it at the fight. Um, make sure... oh, it's already the max. Uh, Jill gets it in the fight with Jan, Chris gets it on... Uh, after Richard is killed by the sharks. So we'll go back in there, um, and when the water is drained, we'll be able to get the shotgun. I have anything to mix this with. I'll take this one with us. 
red and green, is it? Yeah. That one's fine. So we're already on orange caution. If we get hit again, it's danger. So I'll do a full heal at that point. Okay, so the reason I blocked off the hole uh, so we could climb up here um, is because Flant, yeah. Flant 42 will fling a tentacle up through that hole and can grab you and it doesn't kill you or anything and it does damage. So we'll try to avoid it if we can and you can, so I will. We still can't get into that room. Gallery. Okay. Forgot about him. Did he get me? No? And he fucking whiffed. He could have had me there. <laughs> could have had me real easy there. Alright, Shark Town, round two. You know, not many people do a Shark Town round two. This is, this is kind of rare, if anything. Where else are you going to see somebody forget to get the power key before they come down here? died in the game. Even though all my playthroughs of Jill, I never died. Okay, well in that case, at least this time we know to just go and get the, go get the power key first. What are we looking at? Okay. State spray, put that away. Um take the canteen with us. This time we'll burn that guy. So I don't get crimson headed again. Okay, uh, we have to do the spider room again, so Arachnophobia warning. I'll let you know when we're gone. Spitters on the wall, they can't do anything to you. In the game. In real life, I don't know. But in the game, they can't, they can't do anything to you while they're on the wall. Uh, it's only if they're on either the roof or the floor. But they can actually attack you. And even then, I don't think they have many opportunities in this Resident Evil to attack you from the roof. I think it's almost all... I have to put that stuff away. <sighs> I 
because I think the areas you fight them in the roof is too high. I don't think they can reach you. That key. So again, instead of going down, we're going to actually go to that room. Oh, we don't need the canteen. Ted came off this time. We already read us. Tibs in the drawers, or kind of thing. Set this up since we're in here. So I have to remember not to reload the shock. Because we're going to swap over to the assault shock and we just won't be using this one again. I I don't need to burn this guy. Does it anyway. It's not, I don't, as far as I know, it's not necessary if they're decapitated. stuff we need to pick up in there as well. We don't need to. It's we don't need to pick up the hang of both. We already know the guy is in the bathroom, so we'll just go in straight away and get it. Grab the power room key, and then grab whatever the other random things in here were. Self-defense gun and pistol ammo. Ah, 
Fuck him. He might come out now. So the self-defense gun, as you can see, is an actual item, uh, and is a gun. It has one bullet, and you can't reload it. 22 Magnum Double Dillinger. Self-defense gun that fires 22 Magnum rounds. One round has been fired already. There's only one round left in it. It's essentially a one-shot Magnum. Um, Practically whatever you hit with it dies, except the boss, for obvious reasons. That's pretty much for, oh, there's a hunter here that's going to be a pain in the hole. That's pretty much its use. So whatever hunter that's giving you a pain in the ass, that's what the self-defense gun is for. You do have to let them get pretty close to use it. I don't think I'm gonna get caught by the sharks again, but I don't want to have to do this a third time, so... For the purposes of streaming, we're gonna save again. Right, having to rotate our saves now. We ran out of, ran out of space. Means we're definitely not getting an S rank or an A rank. I don't think you're allowed to save at all for an S rank. Maybe once. Plus, we've already used the first aid spray anyway, so. It's the end of that. Set that guy on fire, so we're not gonna get Crimson Head jump scare again. Ready to see Richard get be get eaten again?
Richard. It's like Groundhog Day. Didn't this happen already? Hey, Richard. Chris. Don't don't move this time. Chris, stop! No! <laughs> It sure, it sure seemed like the shark was Richard. aiming for Richard. Like he knew he'd do that. Leave me alone, you jerks. Now we did it first try last time. We got all the way to the door. I just didn't have the key to open it. Sharked. Warning lamp indicates that there is an emergency. Yeah, no shit. Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve one. Got that? That's important. All right, we, we've got the map for this place. It's obviously not very substantial. Got the map. What else you got? Controls for the main system. Everything seems to be in proper working order. For now. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Oi! Don't you be draining our water, mister! Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. But why, though? Is this? Uh, no pressure regulator. There's no need to adjust the pressure right now. Where's the switch? Here? And it resume drainage. Pressure, pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety. Safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. Control lever for the pressure shelter, pull it now. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Not pressure regulators. Oh, fuck. Reaching seventy percent of pressure threshold. Switches control the oil pressure valves. Press switch one. Reaching ninety percent of pressure threshold. Close. Water has been completely drained.
going this way now. I think this is meant to be... Materials are labeled dynamite. They're soaked beyond use. I think this is meant to be... There's another room in the original game that looks like this. Uh, but it's not in this location. It's up where the plant roots were. Possible arachnophobe warning again. I think there is one in this area somewhere. No, that's not very helpful. You better be dead. It is now. Yep, yeah, there's our there's our baby. All right, so that's Richard's gun. The only way to get that is. If Richard, uh, if you rescue Richard from Yon, and then meet him down here. Looks like you could electrocute you. Not gonna electrocute me. You, on the other hand... Ow. <laughs> Oops. Did this in the wrong order? Eat shit, Neptune. Generator unit for the water flow control system. It's toast. Okay, I'm gonna take the long way around just in case. I cannot get to the long way around. Alright, oh, you better be dead. Residence key. Okay, we're all good. Have I gotten everything in here? I have. Did that do damage? I don't think so. Okay, uh, I think this is where the spiders are, so arachnophobia warning.
Oh, you're you're good. They're not in here. There are magnum rounds here that I would really like, though. Word gallery is imprinted. All right. We will come back for those magnum rounds because they're a little too important to leave. Drop off some stuff and come back and get those magnum rounds. We're gonna need the magnum for uh, plant 42 anyway, definitely. Um, and if we only go with the ammo we have, we won't have enough for Tyrant at the end of the month. All the way back to the item box, but I don't. Well, I mean, I do because I need to free. <laughs> I need to free up space for whatever's in the gallery. This should be enough. Magnum ammo. So we're going to head back to the item box to drop off what we have. Uh, I think we need to go get the red book anyway. We, have to, we, we would have had to go back to the item box no matter what. That's way it's one trip. actually look at the assault shotgun. Assault shotgun fires 12 gauge shells, stars custom arsenal, and also Richard's favorite. Got the stars logo on it. Got a top mount for... I don't know why you would have a scope on a shotgun, but okay. Is that really necessary? Anyway, uh... The biggest thing about the Assault Shotgun is it carries 10 shells instead of 6. Uh, and it has a ever so slightly better chance to cause decapitations. I just put away the other shotgun now. Try to get some use out of the four shells. So 
like, I don't want to just use them for no reason. I do you want to you know, use them for something important? Well, the assault shotgun doesn't do any. It doesn't do any additional damage. Uh, it's it really is just that it carries more ammo. Is it is the biggest thing, uh, and the slight boost to its crit rate. Determined. <laughs> okay, so the bees prevent you from doing anything really worthwhile in that room while they're still active, so let's make them up. It's a pump action spray. There's plenty of insecticide inside, but your man didn't make it. Killer. Okay, so the reason I didn't grab the map is because when you do, the bees show up. hole in the wall here. Fuck you bees. Alright, that's the end of the bees. So we needed to take out the bees because the key to the number three room is under the hive. You could have just run in and got it, yeah, sure, but probably would not be a good idea. Anything else? No. It's red herb. I have it. Hey, remember when I said we wouldn't have to do two trips to the item box? Well, I forgot to take the red book out, so... Ah, uh, because I never noticed before, his face is all puffed up. The, the, the corpse model here. It. All swollen. Can't interact with it anymore. Take these bullets back with me. Well, that it for this room? No? Oh, there's herbs at the. On 42 door as well. This time I remember to take the book. Uh, we're gonna grab a blue herb out of the stash that's here. 
Mix it in. We are close to fighting Plant 42. I don't remember now if Chris does the V-Jolt stuff for Plant 42. Or if that's just a Jill thing. Three now. Room three has a secret entrance to Plant Forty Two. Blocked by the dense thicket of trees. Is that not meant to be? Is that not the view? The shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book sandwiched in between them. Take it? Oh, yeah, why not? Organic Chemistry Lab Experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of this plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correctly, then V-Jolt is applied, when, sorry, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. Characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. Yada yada yada, we will get to that when we actually do the puzzle. Alright. Bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. They do. Reorder the books. Alright, it's time to get banned from Twitch. Everybody ready? That gets you in. We don't want to do that just yet. Ink ribbons there if you want to save. We will in a minute. Why is everyone's bath full? stink as well. Something in the bathtub. A knife! Is that it? That's it for this room. Okay. Gels are lined with various soaps and cosmetics. They're all umbrella brand products. Makes sense. Tap for the wash basin doesn't seem to be working, and we're just going to ignore this. the roots of some kind of giant plant are sticking out of the wall. Now this is plant 42. So I have seen people just fight plant 42 and like not bother with the VGL section. And it is faster, obviously. content. Uh, I actually don't know how to get into this room though. Tournament of all test tubes and flasks. Oh, it's just a weird puzzle for this thing, isn't it? Oh, 
Okay, that puzzle is very different to what it is in the original. I'm just gonna have to fucking look this up. Resident <laughs> Evil. Resident Evil HD B Jolt Room. The code will always be a combination of 653. Check out the pool table. Oh god, I don't want to go back into the fucking... Alright, whatever. It's just... It's 3, 5, or 6. Apparently the pool table in the spider room tells you what the order should be, but I, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> We're not going back to the spider room. So let's just try it. Um, just try the regular one. Three, five. Okay, not that. Um, three, six, five. Not that. Uh, five, three, six. There it is. Oh, I don't actually think I have room to do. Potentially we don't have enough to actually do that. And also I think Chris is too stupid to do it anyway in the first place. Something written on the wall. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Correct. 4 and 6 is 10. Sure is. 1 and 6 is 7. Mm -hmm. 10 plus 7 is 17. Yep. 17 and 3 is 20. Yep. Got it. I don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. That's it. Chris is a dumbass and can't uh, do this. But the door is open for Rebecca now, so... Okay. Oh, no, I need the Magnum. Fuck. Turn around, Chris. Turn around. So maybe Rebecca does the beach old stuff? I wonder if it's like... I know you had to do it with Rebecca in the original, but I think it's somewhat optional, semi-optional this time around, because Chris can kill Plant 42 without getting hit, I think it just gives it to you. Yawn. If you don't actually get bitten by Yawn, you don't get poisoned. So, um, Rebecca doesn't have to save you. I think it operates under the same thing here. As long as you don't get grabbed by Plant 42, you don't have to do the V-Jolt section. I mean, I'm almost certainly going to get grabbed. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Thank you. 
All right. Here we go. Oh, motherfucker. My bones and organs. Showing me. Fuck yeah. Okay, we've we've messed this up. He shouldn't be taking this long to die. enough magnum ammo elsewhere in the game. You scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Is that... Pretty sure it's the shark's fault. Watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Yeah, me too. My health, dude. I'm actually fine, even though we got hit a couple of times. I can't pick that up. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Sure. Yeah, would you? Rekka has treated your wounds. Thanks. Didn't have any, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty f fucked up situation, Rebecca. Be strong, Rebecca. Don't do the be strong thing. <laughs> People are fucking dying, Chris. Okay. We are donezo with the guardhouse, or the residence, whatever they want to call it. I sworn it was called the guardhouse in... The original game. There's an engraving of a helmet. This is the helmet key. This is the key we've been looking for.
Wesker? What are you doing? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Chris, Jill? Chris, you're alive? Are your words exactly? Yeah, I know. We got separated. Yeah, sure we did. I you got see. separated when you put her in prison, Wesker. Dickhead. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? Yeah, go back we into the... Better grip. Go back into the mansion and become hunter food instead. There must be areas still to be explored in that other see in the clock, it is a quarter past Chris, one. I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. So what was, what was Wesker shooting at? He was shooting at bees. Let me squish it. Let me squish it. There you go. <laughs> Why? Because it's funny. Hope you're watching, because you're pretty much hardly ever going to get to see anybody actually reload with this thing. There you go. That's what the reload animation looks like. So I might as well make use of it. Otherwise... We're probably good to just go. Do I have any... Do I have any green and red herb mixes? There's one. There's two. grab the two blue herbs that are still here. Do we necessarily need them? No. But it lets me know if I've gotten all the items I have. I so, don't we don't need to be carrying all of those, but at least one of them away. Okay, so we are heading back to the mansion. What do I need? Two's room, and there is a green herb on the way back. Now, I don't think we need to climb over this box anymore because Plant 42 is dead. 
but you know, we're at full health. Ish. Let's try to stay that way. Just in case. There's a green herb on the way back to the mansion. I can mix the green and red together. We do get tagged by a hunter or something before we make it to the next save room. Okay. Everything in this room. Okay, we've procrastinated long enough. Oh, fuck, I hate the hunters. I hate them so much. Putting off going back to the mansion because I don't want to deal with them. Snakes, maybe. Might be dogs this time. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Gotta hold the button Brad. down, Chris. Damn. So remember that uh, that Brad said that, because it's going to be quite a while before we actually get to send him a signal. Okay, don't hear any dog. Oh, ah, there's a doggo. I just saw him. Okay, fuck it. We're not going to be able to get the green herb. Gonna have to hope we don't get hit by a hunter on the way. <laughs> Snacks are back. Ugh. Yeah, you get hit. I don't think there's any real way to avoid them. Well, that's not true. There is a way to avoid them. Did I get poisoned? Okay, we got that. Remember, there are snakes, not snakes, there are dogs in this area. Oh, there's a blue herb there. Or green herb, rather. Well, there's both, actually. Left me all these nice things. Use this to protect yourself from that monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the door now to make sure you can get away, Wesker. That was very nice of you. Do you think he actually fixed the doorknob? <laughs> we are here. Take maybe one of these with? Okay, so Wesker says he's fixed the doorknob, which means we can now travel between that door. Travel both ways. The map still says it's broken. Stone and metal object is there. Gotta remember that. We're gonna leave it there for now, because we do have to go back into the garden. Later, when we go to the catacombs. Are right, you ready for the cool cutscene? And by cool, I mean terrifying. All right, it's when we turn the corner here.
Luckily for us hunters, don't turn into crimson headhunters. If you kill them, they're, they're dead. They stay dead, rather. Two. <laughs> I didn't let him live long enough for you to see a pretty cool thing that he does, but if you run up the stairs to avoid him, he can jump up the stairs to chase you. He can actually jump uh, in such a way that he ends up ahead of you. Alright, we're back. some stuff. Put away this solitary red herb until I find a green herb to go with. No typewriter, you can save your progress, use the ink ribbon, yes. Okay, uh, we're going to take a quick break here so I can go to the bathroom and get a drink and, and so on. So, um, we'll be back in about five past. It's coming up to nine uh, for me, so we're back five past the hour, whatever the hour is for you in your area. I'll be back in six-ish minutes.
right, uh, back from the break. Uh, if you're just joining us on Twitch, I mean, if you're just joining us on YouTube, that'd be weird. That's like two hours in, <laughs> into the video. I don't know why you'd just be joining us. Anyway, we're playing Resident Evil 2002 uh, HD remaster on PS4 or 5. Um, we are playing as Chris. We have just gotten back from the guardhouse. We retrieved the helmet key, defeated Plant 42, and now we are on our way to the, um, do all the helmet key things. Uh, so that is the boss fight against Yon. Um, hunters are now populating the mansion. A lot of rooms have been reset for enemies. Uh, and we are going to have to rescue Rebecca at some point. Don't remember when that happens. Anyway, we'll get into it. away these ink ribbons. Do I have any, like, small heels? In case. No, everything's giant heels. I think I have it just a two greens somewhere. Yes. Alright, we'll go with that. looking for essentially looking for rooms that uh, previously were locked there's nothing the bottom floor well there's that room bottom right actually that long room which I'm pretty sure is yawn want to fight yawn now We'll be back to him later. I'll do it now. Oh, this isn't the yawn room. It's the fuck you room. statue in so that the walls can't close. Then we reset them. There's a switch here, press it. Dropping down a pit, uh, arachnophobia warning. Eagle of South, Wolf of North. Will you take the last book, volume one? I will. I'm gonna read it too. What can the words on the cover mean?
A medal was hidden inside that book. Medal of an Eagle. Found inside the last book, Volume 1. Is there a special way to use it? Nothing unusual. There's something written on the back. Eagle medal. That'll be important. November 29th, 1967. I can't get out. Tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The lab with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde and those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? First, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe they shared the same fate as me. No. Can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. Number 30th. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion I should have known better. Remember 31st. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end, but even in the darkness something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit that na the last match I had to see what it was. A grave. Deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. Wow, fuck you, Spencer. That instant it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. It's too late now, I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, free. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me, may God justify my death in exchange for your safety. Mm, that didn't happen. George Trevor. Name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch. George, why didn't you press the switch? Okay, arachnophobia warning is still in effect. Okay, you are good for arachnophobia. Alright, so there are items in that room, but you're just gonna get destroyed by them in fighters if you try to go there, so I don't bother. And I wish I had brought the other shotgun for you guys. Well, I got one decap. Unlikely we'll be coming back this way, so one of them being not decapitated isn't that big. Looks like the power supply for the elevator, the main fuse has blown. Switch. Power supply appears to be functioning again. The elevator is working. I assume the only thing, the only items in here are those herbs that we just passed. There are a number of small objects on the shelf. Looking closer, you notice the seal of Raccoon City on a broken dish. Ammo for the pistol. And a space we're working with. Can't really do anything with any of that. Unlocked it. Yeah, we could be unlucky in here. Some of these might have crimson headed. Oh, nope, it hasn't. That's good. I may wake up. rich do you have to be to have an elevator in your house? How often does it, how often does it just break? Okay. Um, this is the on room. Get in that way.
do I get into that room then? Do I have to find up? Ugh! That was close. Alright, two decapitations, that's good. They won't be coming back. to get to that area. to this room. I can't carry any more items. should tell you that that's a boss room. I don't think I can pick this up. Okay, uh, there is an item box near us, so let's just head for it. Don't know what's in this hallway is the issue. Don't know if it's zombies or hunters. Or both. Have to go get that. Um... Oh, it's this room. Yeah, okay. Um, we can't do anything. So we need to get the item that's on top of this. Oh, sorry, there's an item on top of both of the animal heads. And while this bird is looking at you, you can't uh, grab it. Uh, and the trick is to turn off the light and then go for it, because the thing is slower to track you then. Mail to the Chief of Security! Confidential! Attention Chief of Security! July 22nd, 1998, 213. Next day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. 1. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. 2. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. 3. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella HQ, Umbrella... The Umbrella were... Like, the the story for the, the mansion incident has always been it was an accident. Um, but it, it wasn't. It was deliberate. 
its head of security, I think. I think it's meant to be Wesker, is the idea. But he betrays uh, Umbrella and decides to do things with him. Gotta be a hunter down. We're not going to need that for a very long time, by the way. It'll be good for now. I took the one red herb because there's a bunch of herbs outside the yawn room. Um, I'm just gonna go pick them up. Let's grab them now. I just sworn there was a hunter in this room. battery while we're here and we'll drop back into the item room <laughs> and put away well one of those heels and the battery because we're not going to need it but we should get it now here before i forget where i where it is battery with this you can operate the elevator what elevator yes the elevator yeah what elevator though Elevator out in the garden. How we get around the uh, the waterfall situation? Use the crank to return the water to where it's supposed to go, um, and then we use the elevator battery to use the elevator instead. And then it's into the catacombs, and at that point we're actually pretty close to the end of the game. For now, we have a bunch of stuff we need to do in the mansion first. One important thing we need to do is grab the MO disc in the mansion. Um, so to get the good ending, where we rescue Rebecca and Jill, 
one thing we have to do is help Rebecca when she gets attacked here in the mansion. She gets attacked by a hunter at some point. We need to go rescue her when that happens. So don't let her die. There. For Jill, we need to find the three MO discs, and this is where the earliest you can get the first one. This section of it. We need to find a yellow jewel. It's a red jewel. Jewel, anyway. Uh, for the other, for the tiger, basically. The tiger has a jewel, um, and we need. We've already done the blue jewel. Set these two up. So you'll hear the bird, right? If I move here and then move back, you hear a big clunk noise. As long as you get to the, the animal head before that happens, you can take the item. Switch here, press it. You know what the yellow gem is for. Red gemstone, it's beautifully cut and polished. It's pretty. Yellow gem, it's beautifully cut and polished. Again, not really sure what that's for. Just the room in the main hall we haven't gone into. And then there's the room just before the garden, but we can't get into that until we find the emblem key. And I life and I don't know what that is. Could make our way out to the hall, go into that section, and just see what that root whole area is about. Since we're here, I think we'll jump into the tiger room and see what's there. Still going nuts. That's why. I'll keep open on the map. Still have a good few shells left. Fine. Okay. 
way. The Tigre. There's an inscription. Tiger with blue and yellow light. Well, what happens if I give it the red one? Doesn't like it when they do that. Okay, got it. Hope I'm not poisoning. We spat the red gem out and then dropped a bunch of spiders in it. So we're gonna drop the ammo disc here because we don't. We're not gonna need it for ages. We don't need it till the end of the game. But we have to get it now. We don't have to get it now, I suppose. We do come back to the mansion a, a third time. Could have done it then instead. Since I remembered it. No. I don't know what the red gemstone's for. And I don't really want to be carrying it around with me if I don't know what it's for, so I'm just gonna check. for a jewelry box. I don't know where that is. Wait until I have it. show up until the, the third time in the mansion or something. Or maybe they're only present on a specific difficulty. Oh. Does it need the helmet key? Where? Very, very tough floor.
Like book? There's something handwritten. Not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting, not even Sir Spencer. Think of a mansion in the back of the art room. Gonna have to find out about the secret. Buck, nice. Two herbs growing here. You don't need to eat them. Wrong. Herbs don't show up on here. A trick. A trick. There are no items. Be taking a couple of hits. I'm sure we weren't at full health anyway. Um. So this room in the original game is where you get the special costume after you've beaten the game. Um, I think you just have to beat it. I don't think it requires a rank. Get in here and you access the secret costumes. Don't believe that's the case in this room. I think you just have to finish the game and you're given the costume from the beginning. the ink ribbon in here. Do you want to go up to the top floor and open that? Oh, I, okay, yeah, that drops you into the room with Jan. That you get there. Okay, so we'll head back to the item box and use the red gemstone on that jewelry box. Jewelry box. There's a round recession approximately four centimeters in diameter. Approximately four centimeters. Love Heavy says there's nothing unusual. I'd be like, why'd you pick it up then? You know? Why'd you bother with it if there's nothing unusual? Okay, we could take this door and run the gauntlet of whatever's in the hallway, or we could be a bit sneakier and go this way. Because <laughs> there's, there's no enemies this way. Or, well, there could be, I suppose. They may have respawned. Or spawned anew, now that we have a key item. Not hearing anything. So I'm going to drop into the item room, use the red gemstone, figure out what's in the jewelry box, what we can do with it. Anything with it? Sure, 
what would be in it. Maybe the emblem key is in it, but I don't think we got it here. You get the emblem key in the catacombs. We have puzzles. I think this one's in the right place. Oh my Christ. up in there. Try to give them all as much space as possible. No, you were fine. You stay there. of the Spencer family, whose history is as old as Raccoon City. There's the emblem key, alright, that is indeed what was in there. Oh, 
Yeah, we can get to it pretty fast, sure. gemstone with me to the jewelry box we could have done this quicker so we can go out into the, the I don't know the garden back area not the big garden the small one at the back here I'm sure you consider this a garden what would you consider this a yard I solved your puzzle, leave me alone. Okay, so we head out here, just open the emblem door to get rid of the key. We don't have to go into it yet. I think that's what triggers Rebecca. Then we can head up the stairs. Don't need to head upstairs, just come back the way we came. Quick turnaround. So we're going to make our way to Yon. Um, done a bunch of shit now, so I am going to save. I don't want to do it again for the stream. You know, Rebecca will get attacked, and we do have to make sure we rescue her. We don't get the good ending. I want the good ending. Okay, so one heal should be enough. I'm gonna take that one instead. Because yawn can poison. First thing we would do back to the kitchen ended up being the last thing. Okay, 
Really hoping there isn't some bullshit in this hallway. Zomble? Don't need it. Need the herb. Ignore it. I recall this is where we got the shield key. Charisma. Not the shield key. The armor key. There was a door here this whole time we couldn't open. The end of the elm cave. All the doors in the mansion that could be opened have now been opened. It's me! Come, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck you. Yeah. Chris. the end of him. We're still fine. Good. I got hit once. Item he dropped. Other book. Inside the last book, volume two. Is there a special way to use it? Yes. Anything else in this? Needs to be other things. There's my browsing. What do they mean? There are herbs up the ladder, but I didn't think that's what they're talking about. Never allowed to go through that way. Interesting. We have the two emblems. So the only door room bleh, the only room we haven't been in is the one we opened with the emblem key. Make our way.
up, we can mix all of these together. the only items in this hallway was nice the shotgun shells are getting a little low to drop anything off. Might as well do it here, because I'm not sure if I can go back. I don't know about the doorknob. I know when Barry fixes it, it's fixed, but I don't know, I don't know if when Wester fixes it, is it actually fixed? He's trying, he's gonna betray you! Don't need you yet. I mean, really, it shouldn't be fixed. You know, betrayal isn't obvious until the very end of the game. Not so much obvious as he just, you know, blatantly portrays you right in front of your face. <laughs> you don't exactly discover it. Let's check in if Chris would auto aim at something. So an interesting thing about hunters. Hunters are deaf. If a hunter has its back to you and you haven't moved, you know, they, they like they they won't notice your presence until you've come within eye shot of them. Although I think they have like a, if you're close enough to them, they know you're there. Like, but um but kinda like liquors. Liquors are blind. And as long as you don't make too much noise, they won't notice you. So basically, you have to walk around liquors and just don't bump into them, and you'll be fine. Hunters are, you know, there's a similar idea. The idea with hunters is don't let them see you. If they see you, they'll attack you. That's kind of hard to do, obviously, in a fixed camera angle situation. And I don't think it carries over into the later Resident Evils anyway. Like, Resi Revelations. Pretty sure the hunters weren't deaf, but at the same time, it was an action game, so it didn't really. There it is. Rebecca, is she upstairs? I haven't been in this hallway since the return to the mansion, so I don't know what's in it. Hope it's this room. Fuck you! Ah. This could 
be going better. Rebecca. Chris. Are you okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. I didn't we mean to, to get you worried. To find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. Clearly Sean had, but okay. Good job anyway, Rebecca. Can I get my knife back? How about a heal? Still fine. Oh, can I interest can you interest me in a heal? I didn't mean to get you worried. <laughs> It's really, it's fine. It's totally fine. I've helped me. Okay, so we have locked Rebecca into the good ending. As long as we get there, we should be fine. Now let's find out what was in the emblem room. We were so rudely interrupted. Dark to see any. Turn on a light switch. Or a desk lamp. There's a switch here, press it. Now I can see. What this? <gasps> oh, it's only a metal object. I need a stone and metal object. Oh well. Where am I going to find that? What else in here? Collection of scientific books. Almost all of them are biology. Books on anatomy. Collection of scientific books. Contents are still intact. Maybe no one's been in here. I too keep shotgun shells in my drawer. No fashion telephone, the court has become it. Right, that's that. It's all. So the metal object, as you might think, it's not a stone and a metal object. I need a stone and metal object. We need two of them. I already have one. Object made from alloy. There's an emblem engraved. From alloy. What kind of alloy? Back. Good. Or like the things they put on the amphoras. What? Why did I come in here? Oh, I'm gonna put this away because we can't do anything with it now. We need the crank and we need the battery. Bears there. Um, to heal away because there's a first aid spray still in the shed, whatever it's called. The last. The last room of the mansion before you leave. So we can just pick up that in case we do get hit by something. There's no... yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna call it here. Uh, there's no save between here before you hit the catacombs. And the catacombs is lengthy enough. So... Yeah, we're gonna call it here. So let me save.
don't turn off your PS4 system. Well, I didn't even turn it on. This is a PS5. PS4's over in the, over in the, <laughs> over in the wardrobe somewhere. Okay. Uh, Why? Well, hang on. I don't know why I'm doing this. Anyway. Nope. Okay. That's it for me for tonight. Um, thanks for keeping me company. If anyone who was lurking, it's appreciated as well. Um, if you want to catch up on previous entries in this Let's Play, you can find them over on the YouTube channel, uh, which is youtube.com slash doomtrain5. Um, I am currently working my way through the whole Resident Evil series. So there's VODs up there for Resi 1, 2, 2 Remake, 3, O Veronica, um, Resident Evil 4, the Resident Evil 4 Remake. Um, and now we have done or are currently doing the Resident Evil remake, this one. Uh, then we'll do Resident Evil Zero, and then we'll be moving on to the more modern ones, so Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6, the two Revelations games, uh, Resi 7, uh, and Resi 8, Village. Um, and Resi 3 remake, I keep forgetting that. I have to fit that in somewhere, because I haven't got around to playing it yet. Anyway, that's it for me for today. Uh, tomorrow I might come back for Resi, since we're kind of close to the end now. If I had pushed through and done the catacombs tonight, then the finals, the last stream for Chris would be very short. Um, but yeah, I'd rather wrap it up a bit neatly. Although I suppose we could have just gone straight into Jill's campaign. Anyway, not important. Uh, tomorrow I'll be streaming something. I just haven't decided what yet. Uh, we have the other ongoing series, which is the Final Fantasy series playthrough. We are not as far along in that one. Uh, we've only played Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Uh, we are close to the end of 3. Uh, we're close enough that, again, I'm also considering just doing that tomorrow and just finishing that off. Um, the other uh, running Let's Plays are the Foley Fables Let's Play. Foley Fables is when I play games that have a pretty strong uh, story element to them. We're currently working our way through Master Detective Archives Rain Code, um, which is a very, very anime uh, video game about um, mysteries and, and homicides and solving uh, murder cases and stuff like that. Um, but also Lots of anime fans are going on as well. It's a bit, it's a bit embarrassing. Anyway, um, Saturday, um, we're currently working through My Friendly Neighborhood. Um, I think we're halfway through that. I think I haven't played it before, so I'm not sure. This I played Resident Evil Four. I know exactly how far we are on this. Uh, I'm as the three. Similarly, I'm sort of just guessing. It feels like we're close to the end of this. Um. Again, we're close enough to the end of My Friendly Neighborhood that I could stream it tomorrow. But we're going to get to it on Saturday anyway. I don't know. Something. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out something. Anyway, I'm going to head off. Uh, have a good rest of your evening. And uh, hopefully see you tomorrow for whatever it is I decide to stream.